Good morning, success engineers. I am your host, Dr. Rob, and I'm coming here with a very, very important video today. We're going to talk about five must-haves for tier one businesses. Now, if you're new to success engineers, you're new to Dr. Rob, you need to ask yourself, what is a tier one business? It is a business that usually is brand new in nature or newer that is making zero to five, seven thousand dollars a month. So it's your first tier of business. Right now, you're kind of struggling. You're getting clients. You're figuring out your systems, all that stuff. So these are the essentials that will fast track you to get to tier two which is when you start making steady income, when you start expanding, all that stuff. So I'm just going to give you the best tools I have. Okay, That's what Success Engineers is all about. We engineer your business to make it run better, to get you more exposure, to make all your systems running more smooth. So let's talk about these five things right away. I would actually take notes on this. Um, anytime you guys see a Dr. Rob video, get out your pen and paper, because I'm usually going to teach you something pretty badass. So here we go. Number one, a weekly schedule. OK, if you're the type of person that wakes up and has no idea what you're doing today, that's not good, especially for business. So a weekly schedule will help keep you organized. It'll teach you what your deadlines are, what your taskers are, what you need to get done. I made this yesterday and I'm going to make some type of template for you guys one of these days. But this is my weekly schedule. Yes, it's awesome. Let that sink in. Look at that. It's gorgeous. All I use is graph paper and a ruler and a nice sharp pen. So this is my weekly schedule for social media posts, Monday through Friday. And then the, the acronyms on the side here are groups. Okay, so those are initials for groups. And then what content I'm going to post and what days. And then this is like the, the key to it. Like I post in certain groups in certain days. And then um, on this side, I have ideas for blogs, videos, and Facebook groups. So this schedule keeps me honest. And it's like, oh, hey, it's... Uh, Thursday in the PM, I have to post in this group. Now, keep in mind, this is only a social media schedule. This is not a tasker or business schedule. This is just for my social media so that I can get exposure. I have another one. This is my weekly for um, taskers across social media. But this one's a little different because this incorporates my Facebook groups as well. And then at the bottom is a fill-in sheet for content. Like if I have an idea for a blog or something, I can just write down the title. And I know it sounds completely psychotic to have two schedules, but that's how I operate right now with the, the volume I have because I don't have a VA. I do all this shit myself, so I got to figure it out. Number two is daily taskers. When you wake up in the morning, if you want to be super productive before you turn the computer on, get out a piece of paper or get these cool index cards that I got at the dollar store and write down your daily taskers. See the things in red? Those are phone calls I'm going to make today with clients. So those in red uh, catch my eye and they tell me what time and who it is. So that's always kind of important. Um, and I write down the stuff that I have to work on today and then a time frame for it and then a deadline. So the approximate time I'm going to do that and how long it should take. A timeline or sorry, a time frame is very important for, uh, for setting deadlines for yourself and staying on track. So number three. Your tribe. Your tribe is the 5 to 20 people that are closest in your life that support you every single day. They're not necessarily your audience. They are your supporters and they are your friends in business. Your tribe should be based upon A, skill set, B, aptitude, and C, level of support. I have people in my tribe that don't do anything for me business-wise except share my posts because they believe in my message and they like what I do. They are awesome. Um, you want people that have very, very high aptitude and very, very high skills. So if you know someone that's super good at podcasts or a good copywriter or someone that's the best at public speaking gigs, those are the people you want to recruit in your tribe. Okay. My tribe is sick. It's full of people that are all top level experts, six figure coaches, uh, experts in their, in their fields. Um, make a good tribe. It, it's the best thing ever. And they can share your goodies just like you should share theirs. So number four social media and real life strategy. <clears throat> what this means is, just like I had that schedule for my social media posts, you need to find Facebook groups that you will post regularly and consistently in, and you need a real life strategy. You are not a goblin. You need to leave your house. You cannot be on the computer 15 hours a day. You'll go crazy. You need to be around people, and you need to set up a buzz locally for your offerings as well as online. Trust me, you need both. So a great way to set up a real-time strategy and to find people is meetup groups. Uh, meetup business and entrepreneur groups are a great way to look up your location and find people in similar industries. 
And that being said, number five, IMS, Information Management System. It can be something as goofy as a portable dry erase board. It can be a hanging dry erase board. I have three. It can be file folders I have down there. Okay. Uh, information management systems are huge because they help you. It's like a, a, a library that you can access right away. And then you got reminders with the dry erase boards. You need to manage your information at a higher level. Okay, uh, don't try and do all this stuff by yourself. An information management system is essential for getting max productivity. Okay, guys, I hit five minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But in summary, this is what we got. Weekly schedule, daily taskers, a tribe, social media and a real life strategy, and an IMS information management system. The five things that a business owner at tier one needs. All right, guys, uh, if you got any other stuff that you found super valuable, leave it in the comments below. And as always, there will be a freebie in comments. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon.